So how do you export a video from VSDC? Hello and welcome back to Autech Solution. So today we look at how to generate and export a video from VSDC Free Video Editor. The settings, the format, the output file size, which depends on the kind of the video format that you choose. So if you've not joined the channel, hit the subscribe button below, turn on the notifications so that you get notified anytime a new tutorial or tech video is uploaded. So let's get right into VSTC free video editor and see how you can export a video. So once you've opened VSDC free video editor, this is normally the layout. I think you've seen this in our previous videos. So first of all, I'm just going to look at how to add a project. Now this is um, a video that was already created before. So we're just going to type there how to export how to export a video so once you've done that you're going to do a few settings now these settings are normally necessary for your output file size if you can look at this this is 1920 by 1080 i can change this here i can also change the frequency and i can also change the the channels so they want it to be a stereo mono or, or no audio now this here you need to be a bit more um, informed before you can um, make these setups but in most cases if you're just creating a basic video you can always just leave it uh, into what you need uh, again under this section here a uh, device configuration you can always choose free configuration unless you are creating your video for a specific um, website or device and then then you'll have to choose either youtube instagram facebook and all that uh, resolution you, you have the full HD that is reflected from what you've chosen here you can always change this ultra 4k then you'll see that also reflects here now it depends on the kind of a video that you're formatting and the output size that you need if you need that you can also do that now that is your choice you can always change the frame rate per second this also determines the size that you get at the end of your video when exporting so once you're done with these settings here i can you can just say um finish now this was just the basic settings on of the video layout so i'll add up an object from here and um choose a video that i already created before using a different uh, video editor windows movie maker and you can find the tutorials from the link above or um, in the description section now this video will um it will open and then you'll have first let's select our video first i'll go to my pictures here and choose a video that i, I need to edit and export in vsdc so i'm just going to take a short video like this one with the video already uploaded you can see now the effects are, are a bit now can be applied under the basic effects window you can change all this now that's not what we are doing if you want to export this video there are certain things that you need to consider first of all what is your file size what is the required file that you need at the end if you don't want a big file size you'll have to do those settings so how do you do that you'll go to the export project uh, section and then you choose the video format you do have avi mpg mov all these video extensions of video formats if you want to export it for pc for web for iphone for iphone and ipad for android or for a dvd player so you can choose the media type and you can also choose um, all this here the video formats now these formats give different video sizes if you take avi for instance that's what i use gives the smallest size because the video is a, a uh, video style like um, the mpg the video size will be much bigger so it's you to choose the kind that you want but i do prefer using avi because of the video uh, file sizing if your video is specifically made for pc and you just want to use windows media player then you'll use this windows um, mid media i mean windows movie that's what just what uh, it does I, i'm not really sure if that's the full form of the abbreviation so once you've chosen your video format you have um, a few more settings um, down here now this here displays the video properties the input 
profile and the output file these are the features like you see we selected 30 frames per second here so it gives you all that it also gives you the audio properties on this uh, left hand side um on the output file size you can always change the file name and also the, the video profile the kind of video that you want if you click on this drop down you have options there in most cases i just take the highest then um i can also change this so this is ultra quality select that choose high quality now ultra is probably the best then um i can change the file name if i click on the name here i'll change the name of the video and how it will be, ex be exported and the location now i'm not going to edit the file name but i can always edit the video style which it is avi i don't need to edit that too i can change the location now in this case it shows pc pictures if i want it to be exported to the desktop i'll select desktop right here and then i'll click on save once i've clicked on save if i click export i'll be given this so this uh, asks you to upgrade then uh, you'll click on uh, continue because you don't want to upgrade you just want to use the basic features so when i click on continue the exporting process begins then you do have this countdown here that shows you um how the video is being exported now this video you can still um, set up to either preview or uh, shut down your pc when it is done now th this one is pre-select is always pre-selected because you don't want to shut down your pc every time a video has been um, exported so that's how you export a video using vsdc you have to make the correct right selections the uh, video format the video sizing and maybe a few settings here and there like the file name and the file location so if you find this really um, helpful in your video creation process give it a thumb up um, you can also hit the uh, sub button Turn on the notification like we said at the beginning of the video so that you get notified anytime a new video is uploaded if you're interested in more video editing uh, tutorials there are links in the description and ones that pop above that will help you edit your video and have it much better when uh, before uploading it or sharing it in the social platforms